What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. We're opening something that I've never opened before, and it's from someone you guys know. And it's from someone that you guys know. What's good, Ruxin? Hope you enjoy a relic from my ancient vending days. I personally pulled a few Holofoil test print discard cards when busting these, busting them for buy lists back in the day, so I hope for the same luck. That would be cool to go your way. Mad lads, hoping for RNG in structure decks, am I right? That's right, we want some RNG in the structure decks, good luck. That's the man, John from House of Champs. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him. He has a really awesome channel, Market Watches, etc. He's been around for a long time. Won a, uh, whatever it was, a Shonen Jump Championship or whatever back in the day. So the dude's, he's a relic himself. So let's go ahead and show you what he sent us. So he kind of spoiled it with the structure deck thing. Here is a starter deck, Kaiba and Yugi Reloaded. And you're like, okay, what's so exciting about starter deck? A starter deck, first of all, and Reloaded. These are first edition, so I, it's going to be tough to show you guys. You see that? First edition. You do not see the first editions very much anymore. These things were reprinted a couple of times, so you see the unlimiteds in those little boxes that have like the big blue eyes card and all that stuff. But the first editions were pretty tough to get. And the coolest thing about these is they have the first edition blue eyes ultimate rare. The only TCG blue eyes ultimate rare. They have the only TCG blue eyes as well as the only TCG Dark Magician Ultimate Rare. So you can get an Ultimate Rare, well you get one every time in every deck, first edition. So these are actually kind of expensive now, the Ultimate Rares, because you just don't see the first editions that often. So we're gonna crack this open. He said he pulled some test print cards, you guys saw that. So we're hoping for test print cards, we're hoping for minty Ultimate Rares, that's what we want. There's 10 decks in here. We're about to crack open 10 decks and see, first of all, what's in the decks. I think it'd be cool to duel with these, I just need somebody to actually duel them with. So let's cut this open. This is actually like a terrible idea, opening this up. Opening structure decks, um, <laughs> just for the promo. But the promos are pretty valuable, and not too many have been graded, so I think it would be cool to end up with a PSA 10 if we could get one. We're gonna have five chances for both monsters, because we have five of each deck. Inside they also have DMG Common. I mean, there's some really cool stuff in here. So the, uh, the small space here is gonna make it a little bit tough to show you guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this big boy out of the way. All right, we'll, we'll go a little bit slower on the beginning, the first two. So we're, gonna, we're not going to be too gentle with these. I'm just going to rip these open. And hopefully we can pull test print card. Maybe we can pull a nice ultimate rare. So first ultimate rare, you guys will see it right at the front. Yeah, I never opened the first editions of these, but I've told you guys many times, the reprint version where it had the, the booster packs as well is where I got my Chaos Emperor Dragon. So here is... The only TCG Blue Eyes Ultimate Rare, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Oh, I forgot to mention the giveaway. Here's the giveaway if you guys made it here. The giveaway is these three cards. That's an Ultimate Rare Dark Hunter, by the way. All you got to do, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite part about these decks. There's a lot of cool things about them. So there's the Ultimate. Yeah, you can see that first edition. That's really cool. So we are, this was not cheap. I think I paid $750. I think he gave me a tiny bit of a discount because I told him I was going to open it. So you do get two blue eyes, you get one ultimate rare. Let's check these out. Centering looks slightly off. Back looks pretty good. I think that's actually really nice. Not much of a stamp there. Wow, that actually might have a chance. Centering is a tiny bit off. Let's check it out. Yeah, centering's a little off, but that's a really nice card. Tablet art, not a lot of people's favorite art, but personally, I think it's really cool. I just remember it from back in the day. Let's go through here. Maybe we'll get a nice test print. Probably not, but let's just see kind of what they threw in here. A bunch of vanilla monsters. Alexandrite Dragon. Twin Headed Behemoth. Yomi Ship. This is a ton of cards. Are there like 50 cards in this deck or something? Horus. Nice. Tiger Axe. I don't know if any of these are worth much anymore. Maybe, uh, I thought, oh, Dark Magician Girl's in the other one. Yeah, of course. Burst Stream Destruction. Shrink. That's cool. Sakuretsu Armor. Widespread Ruin. Birthright. And Damage Gate. So... We're not going to go through those every time, just this time, so you guys can kind of see what's in the deck. Here we have the Starter Deck Yugi Reloaded deck. So we're going to we're gonna open it up the, the brutal way, but it's actually a great way to open this. Oh, there goes the deck. Hopefully we didn't damage anything. First, Dark Magician deck. That one may be dinged down there. I can't tell if that's the wrapping or not. There is a chance that happens. Okay. Very nice looking cards though. These came out in 2013, the first editions. Just pretty crazy. I mean, that's a long time ago. 
Okay, first starting magician. Corner was not messed up, that's good. Centering looks okay. Uh, back stamping, you can, you can see it a little bit more on this one, but not too bad. A pretty nice condition. Dark Magician, first edition, ultimate rare. That's pretty cool. Good start on our conditions. We'll take that. We have Dark Magician, some skill. We got some cool stuff in here. There's the Dark Magician girl. I'm going to pull that out because that's a pretty nice card. Even in common, it's still very popular. Breaker, Silent Swordsman, the Tricky. Yeah, these are these are pretty cool decks. I mean, they got like Book of Moon, MST. I mean, they got some really nice staples in there. Call the Haunted. We got, wait, was there two of those? No. Rising Energy. Okay. So pretty cool deck. All right, next Blue Eyes deck. Here we go. Let's get another Minty Blue Eyes. And then we'll shuffle through them real quick to see if we, get, if we got any test prints or anything. RNG and starter decks. Easy, easy money. Okay, you gotta be careful here. Got another blue eyes ultimate rare. That looks really sweet. That looks super sweet. Ultimate rare blue eyes. Looks like it's in good condition as well. So we're definitely gonna sub these and see if we can pull anything cool. Okay, let's fling through these real quick. I'm not seeing anything. We'd probably see it on the side. Dark Magician deck. Here we go. Hopefully, nice condition. Can we get a discard card, a test print card, whatever you want to call it? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys think we can hit it? You think we can hit one? That would be pretty cool, but I'm guessing no, but maybe. Okay, is that top corner got a little damage? Possibly. Nice condition. Probably sub it either way. Let's go through here. Dark Magician Girl, we're gonna pull that out. I'm guessing like maybe like Breaker could be worth something. Something that's using Go Format. Because Go Format is super the prices are hot right now for Go Format. Alright, next blue eyes. So far we've had pretty good conditions. I'm not complaining. Um Wow, this is very tough to open this one. No crazy <laughs> discard cards, but we'll we'll try and grab one. We'll keep trying. Blue Eyes, Ultimate Rare. So that one's pretty off-centered. I don't know. Yeah, that one's probably not getting any, any 10 area. That's probably going to get a 9. That centering. Maybe we'll just keep it raw. We'll see. Okay, fly through here. Nothing's looking too crazy on these borders over here, so I'm guessing nothing. Enemy controller. Dark Magician, Ultimate Rare. Will you give us a test print card? We have pulled one test print before, by the way, and it was on out of a Jinzo tin. 2003 Jinzo tin. You guys can check that video out up there. That was crazy. That was a while back, but it was pretty awesome. Centering pretty good. That looks like a really nice candidate for a tin. If that one's not a tin, I don't know what to say. That's in great shape. Dark Magician Ultimate. And anything interesting in here? It always splits right at the Dark Magician Girl. It's interesting. I don't know why that is. A lot of nice, I mean, old Vindictive. That's a nice little uh, go format card. Sometimes used in there. Wabaku. Man, a lot of sweet decks. We have four more chances to pull a crazy test print. But really all we care about too much is the centering and how they look for grading. That's what we're really looking for. We're trying to grade some epic Blue Eyes Ultimate Rares. Could always grade the common just for fun. The blue eyes common. That'd be kind of funny. There we go. Ultimate rare blue eyes white dragon. Some of them, if we don't grade them, probably just put them in the binder. Be kind of cool. Because these do look really cool. I mean, they're not like people's favorite arts. The dark magician art, I don't like as much as the blue eyes, but I still think it looks good. I mean, it looks cool. The blue eyes art, I am a fan of. I know it's controversial. A lot of people do not like this art. I think it looks good. Oh, I probably should have moved this out of the way. Dark Magician Ulti looks pretty good. What's that bottom border? Okay, maybe. Kind of hard to tell with these uh, speckled borders or whatever you call them. But really cool. Two more decks. Two more chances at something wacky. So far, nothing. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Don't bend the card. It's getting scary. 
There we go. Okay, I think we're fine. I don't think we damaged it. It was close. We didn't damage it. Okay, blue eyes. Looks good. Nice. Very nice. All the blue eyes look pretty good. I mean, the centering on a one, one or two are not great, but that's okay. I mean, you can't expect the centering to be perfect every time. Oh, I think we forgot to go through this. I forgot to go through this because we didn't get the Dark Magician Girl. So if there's a test print in there, we almost missed it. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Final deck, final chance for something unusual to happen, but so far I've been happy with this. Not, haven't had too bad a... Oh gosh. These last couple have been ripping weird. There we go. You've got the last Dark Magician. Looks to be pretty awesome. I mean, it looks fantastic, you gotta say that. Looks fantastic. The Ultimate Rare, I, I do like, I like the, the newer Ultimate Rare. A lot of people are like, oh, only like the old ulti. Well, the borders aren't like that, but it looks pretty cool to me, not gonna lie. I like both. Because I still remember getting that Chaos Emperor Dragon, and I was like, wow, this thing looks really cool. I don't know what the deal with it is, because I didn't even know what an Ultimate Rare was at that point. But I found out. Okay, what we got from all those decks, we got... This is just a few of the things. Five common Dark Magician Girls. Really nice. There's some more stuff in there that we didn't grab out, but a nice common. We got five Ultimate Rare Dark Magicians, first edition, pretty awesome, and five Blue Eyes White Dragon, first editions. So really cool cards. We're going to send in these Ultimates for grading. Maybe they'll come back in the next year, and it'll be fun to see what they can get. Maybe we can get some 10s on them. Pretty low pop cards. Really be cool to add like an Ultimate Rare 10 in my collection. So hope you guys enjoyed this. A little bit of a different video. We didn't open anything that had like RNG really. We're just kind of hoping for the test print and for nice conditions. So this was more of a collectible video. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you guys like the video. Also, don't forget to check out my TCG Player eBay affiliate links below. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. I haven't said that in a long time. And I checked the, the links recently and they were actually doing really good. So I was like, I don't know how you guys know to use the links, but you're doing it. So I appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>